Hey guys, welcome back to another enshrouded video. In this video, I'm going to be going over buff and everything that you need to know about buffs within the game. Buffs are very, very important because they can determine if you complete a mission or you fail to complete that mission. There are many buffs with different benefits within the game and I'm going to be going over every one of them within this video. There is rested buff, there is also vegetables or raw food, there is cooked food, there is item buffs. So again, I'm going to be going through all of them within this video. So starting off, we're going to be taking a look at the rested buff. If you look in the top left hand corner of the screen, you'll see rested inactive, increased stamina maximum and regeneration. The conditions to achieve this is that we have to be sheltered, sitting or sleeping, we have to be warm and we have to have comfort. Right now we have the comfort and we have the warmth but we don't have shelter, sitting or sleeping. To meet that condition we have to go inside. So we're going to go inside of my base and you're going to see that my rested is going to change, all the conditions are met and my rested time is going up. If you take a look at the comfort, you can see that my comfort is at level 32. And that is determined by the amount of decorations that you have within your base. As you can see, I have a ton of decorations. I have the trophies from all of the bosses that I've beaten so far. I have a mat. I have a furnace. I have a bookshelf. I have, um, you know, all these awesome stuff. Chairs, desk, pots, plates, cups. And I even have a bathroom with a bath, somewhere to use the toilet, somewhere to wash my face. All of these things improve your comfort within your base and this improves the time of your rested bonus. So right now my rested bonus is at 37 and again this is all determined by the level of my comfort. There is a skill that you can use to improve or increase your rested bonus which is this one right here which is well rested. The base duration of your rested buff is increased by 5 minutes. So if I had this unlocked right now my rested buff would be 43 minutes however I don't and my rested buff is at 37. So if you want to know what the rested buff does if you go to N and go down to where you see your status delay under comfort you're going to see that it says rested 37 minutes increase stamina maximum and regeneration and again the conditions to achieve this increase. So when you do that you're going to get increased stamina and also the regen regeneration of that stamina. So as you can see I have about two and a quarter bars so I can jump, I can fly, I can run for longer without worrying about my stamina being depleted really quickly. Quickly. So before you go out on a mission or to beat a boss or anything, make sure that you acquire your rested buff. So that's it for the rested buff. Now we're going to be taking a look at the buffs that you get from raw foods within the game. I went ahead and I collected some of the best raw foods that gives you the best buff within the game. They are currently within my inventory. So if I go ahead and take a look at my bag, you're going to see that I have a line of foods right here. And these are the ones that give you the best rested buff. Some of them can be obtained in the early stages, mid stages or late stages of the game. So I will also tell you guys which stage you can obtain this item. So starting off, we have the bell pepper. Bell pepper can be obtained in the early stages to mid stages of the game. It gives you two dexterity for 10 minutes. Next we have eggs. So the eggs can be obtained in the mid to late stages of the game. They are obtained from defeating the flying monsters that looks like dragon. You can either defeat the monsters and get them or you can find the eggs within nests. These eggs give you 2 endurance for 10 minutes. I've been playing this game for over 90 hours and I haven't found the item that is raw that gives you constitution. But the best item for constitution in the early stages of the game is the grilled wolf meat. This can be obtained by defeating wolf and getting the meat and then sitting beside a furnace or a campfire. You can cook it and you'll get 2 constitution for 20 minutes. For intelligence, we have the red mushroom. It gives you 1 intelligence for 10 minutes. If you want more, you can grill the mushroom. It gives you 2 intelligence for 20 minutes. But a better mushroom type fruit or mushroom type food is the azure rosula, if that's how you pronounce it. If you roast the rosula rosula, you get 3 intelligence for 25 minutes. If you consume it raw without roasting it, it will debuff you so make sure that you consume the right one. For strength, we have the Azel Nuts. It gives you 3 plus strength for 15 minutes. This item can be obtained in the early to mid stages of the game. And finally, we have the Grapple Plan. This can be obtained in the later stages of the game as you see what it says growing in the harsh Kindle Waste. Kindle Waste is the desert biome 
and again that's the later stages of the game it gives you five spirit for 25 minutes so spirit is your mana bar it increases the length of your mana bar so your character can hold more mana for 25 minutes so that's it for all of the food that you consume without cooking now we're going to move on to the food that you can consume without cooking that help you with your regeneration so these increases your maximum capacity for each of the stats which is strength intelligence dexterity or endurance now we're going to be regenerating those so the best ones that i found are water which gives you one endurance for 10 minutes plus two stamina recharge then we have honey or you can find sugarcane which gives you 15 plus stamina recharge for three minutes the next one we have is the grilled yucca fruits this is grilled however it's you know easy to obtain once you obtain it all you need to do is go to the farmer and they will craft it for you the yucca fruit can only be obtained in the desert biome so that's a later stage item however it gives you 20 plus recharge stamina recharge for seven minutes finally we have the strawberry which can be obtained in the early to mid stages of the game it gives you three health regeneration for 30 seconds so those are all the raw food that you can obtain within the game to give you decent buff now we're going to be taking a look at some of the crafted food or the cooked food or dishes if you want to call it that that gives you massive buff within the game and to get these you have to talk to the farmer you have to unlock the farmer and once you obtain even one of the items necessary to craft that dish then that dish will come unlock so if we go ahead and look at the items we're going to start off with strength one of the best dishes that i came across so far for strength is the open sandwich it gives you four strength for 45 minutes plus two constitution the resources necessary are saffron grilled wolf meat and flat bread for constitution we have the meat wrap it gives you five constitution for 45 minutes plus one intelligence resources necessary water red mushroom raw sand digger meat and flour for energy we have the grilled yucca fruit as i showed you guys in the previous part it gives you 20 plus stamina recharge for seven minutes and the resource needed is the yucca fruit you also have the sugar which is the same 20 stamina recharge however instead of seven minutes it's five minutes the resources needed is sugarcane the best one for dexterity is a stirred fried vegetable it gives you five plus dexterity for 45 minutes the resources needed to craft this dish is corn cob forest beet tomato bell pepper and spice for endurance we have the spice tea it gives you five plus endurance for 45 minutes resources are saffron and water another one another good one is the chamomile tea which give you five health regeneration for 35 minutes plus two endurance resources are chamomile and water for intelligence we have the glow soup it gives you five plus intelligence for 45 minutes plus 60 shroud protection the resources needed is spice water and azure russula raw azure russula another dish that you can make if you can't make the glow soup is the mushroom omelet it gives you four plus intelligence for 40 minutes and the resources needed are red mushrooms and eggs for healing we have a fruit bowl it gives you six plus healing regeneration for 45 minutes plus three stamina recharge the resources needed are honey strawberry purple berries and yucca fruits other foods include boiled egg. It's simple but nourishing. Boosts regeneration in all areas. It gives you 3 plus stamina recharge, 3 plus health regeneration, and 2 plus mana recharge for 40 minutes. The resources are eggs and water. Now we're going to be taking a look at some of the items that give you good buffs as well. So far, I've only came across three. The first one is the Prayer of the Flame Scroll. Now this one gives you 20 plus magic damage for 30 minutes plus one minute at a time within the shroud the second one is the flask of the fell it gives you 20 plus stamina for 30 minutes and finally we have elixir this one gives you 30 plus damage multiplier for 30 minutes and it debuffs you one minute maximum time within the shroud so pretty much that's it guys those are the best buff items that i've found within the game so far Again, this is the early access and I assume there are going to be a lot more added into it. If I missed anything, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want to see more content on Enshroud, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel with post notification turned on so you'll be notified of whenever I upload a new video.